sir. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. Okay. I'll do it. What do you want? I want to steal it. I am so sorry. They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. The security station is right over there. It's locked. My God, you just, you're just like them. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. Jack Joyce, in the flesh. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. Paul said it was world changing. Two minutes to the past. Jack, Well, you have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. Zero state. <sighs> what have we done? There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Paul, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! Are you Jack Joyce? Where's my brother? You might still be able to catch them. Paul? I'm sorry, Jack. I never wanted this. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's a priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, then... The public will start asking questions. Potentially turn on Monarch. Clear, sir. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. Mr. Serene? But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. Sir, who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to steal. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. 
Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, I'm sneak around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce. We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch Security Station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Monarch would take a hardline approach, crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on the road. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk, well, keep eyes on them, and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Oh, wait, no! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us, to decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. The one in the middle, I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken up five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? 
That's entirely up to you. I'm so glad we can work this out. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. The thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? I will. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girls' video to Stan and our friends at WZWI, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> Shit. Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I. I got a lock on his transpo. I mean, I've hacked into his camera and I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not, it's not, it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on him. And when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor? Hello? Oh, well, I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Is that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office.
things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. I know. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what happened? Um, <laughs> I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You would. <laughs> Close your eyes. A lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transport to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Hold. There's been a development. Jack, you've already seen him tonight on the island. He'll be there and he'll want revenge. We need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided. Your fifth column, traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. You wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need to treat it. 
You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person. A terrorist. You bacon and egg sandwiches? Oh, oh like a thanks. Down there. We really appreciate the bravery going on record to speak out against... Uh, you wish I was 19. Hey, you don't have security clearance, man. Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been up on that. So... You didn't get the running kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what's the what's the 411? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> uh, everything's everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. Right. Do you think they're going to cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. Yeah. We can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah, alright, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you wear? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, uh... Maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun! Can't do that. You have three seconds till that pull. Better reflexes. And you're a marksman for shit. No. No! Gosh! He's gone! Do you see what's happening? The starters. More and more. What is, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming. And Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 the end of what? That's the end of what? The end of what? Of time. Of time. Of life as we know it. The entire universe gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol. And it can save us, at least some of us. Your hands on your heads, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Joyce just took down half my men. Maybe he had some help? We're unarmed, I was responding to the give a fuck. I am with Monarch. On your knees! Even if they take me in here, it's the end for me. 
Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Leo. Shut up! This lifeboat protocol. What is it? I don't know. But Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Golden boy. Favor. Yeah. Okay, um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, you'd really rather not. Let's be in your office. Be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there's nothing. There. Huh? There's nothing there. He, like, he just wasn't there, like, or what? No, Hatch, he, um, he reassigned me. He wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me, uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that, uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because, I don't know. Uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me! Because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15, 14. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Good luck, buddy. Nine. Eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B, near the main overpass. Damn, stop! Uh. 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 
invincible. He's not a fucking superhero. Brenner, I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. South parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. South on Eastman, South on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut, go. Come on, you got this? Quantum break. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. Jack Joyce, in the flesh. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. Paul said it was world changing. Two minutes to the past. Jack. Well, you have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. Zero state. <sighs> what have we done? Jack! There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Paul, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! Are you Jack Joyce? Where's my brother? You might still be able to catch them. Paul? I'm sorry, Jack. I never wanted this. <sighs> we can't risk any unwanted attention. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Will? <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away, right now. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. 
We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up. The old industrial area. Why am I here? Only way forward. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines, rewind them. Berg on Jack Joyce's position. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Hey, what's Reaper Squad doing with those video cards? Seven, eight, three. Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign, filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. The media's gonna latch on. It's him! Looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Wilder. Yes. I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. 
think I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship rant through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a monarch cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! Jack, the fracture is our only... Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend's a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. I did what you said, okay? Please, please just let me go. You did good, Amy. Broadcast just went out, but Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we've done sort of thing. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You, from the protest, what do you... I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. It's locked. Ah, okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. Twisting the story for the media, claiming the protest went hostile and that we detonated the library. Hey, it worked. It's not holding on. You're fast enough. Oh my god. You just. You're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These. Geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Oh, well, something new to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. All right, my brother tried to explain. Time is an egg, which is now fucked. A time egg, which is, it's fucked. It's like broken, I, I don't know. 
What? What? Why is there an egg? We're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. this smarmy asshole named Martin Hatch, but everyone here answers to a guy named Paul Serene. And apparently he founded Monarch in 1999. Now, here's the thing. Paul Serene is the exact name of a guy who's heading some top secret physics project at my university. So it's gotta be the same guy, right? Starting to get the hang of this, all right. Need to get up to that open window. Made it. Now to get to that door. Uh. Finally. Good work. I need to make this right. I'm gonna use the terminal up here and try and dig up what Monarch's really up to. Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. And they forced violence, me to do it. I, I know. Of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have done. Like a terrifying scene down there. We really that appreciate map over there should help you figure out a route. record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. Mr. Serene's chopper is in. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah, I think you're right. Charlie, I told you I to stay off the operations chapter. Okay, stay in contact. Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... We're under attack! Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. Enemy spotted! Oh, great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile! Mother.
operation. Shotgunner advancing on. idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Looks like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Yeah. Apparently they're intending to say hi back with a grudge. So there's that. <sighs> Regarding some kind of chronon particle harvesting operation. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm looking into it. Keep you Hey, just turned off security. Uh-oh. Jack, they're coming your way. teleporty stuff you do? Yeah. Apparently they're intending to say hi back with a grudge. Hey, let's turn off security. Uh -oh. we just took out gatehouse Jack, they're coming, coming your way. What, what do they pay you for? <laughs> okay. Game for you. Hey.
Yeah. I did some digging. This Chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything... ...that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. Queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. HQ, Sophia we have contact. Over. Copy. HQ, friendly down. Over. Something I can use to get up there. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials. Before. I'm Dr. Sophia Amara. Over the past six years, Monarch has made a vast technological. I hear every elevator. On July 4th, 2018, anomalies began to occur in a small and focused area. We now refer to as Ground Zero, located within the Riverport Industrial Zone. This resulted in Jack, extremely dense emissions. I found documents here about some kind of really private gala Marnak is hosting tonight. Which led tonight. To <gasps> After everything has happened. It has something to do with their future plans. Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher-ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport. It raises the question, why now? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. When the time is right, the <sighs> okay, I'm getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? I got that briefcase we lifted from William Joyce's car. Laid out the contents in the trailer. You want me to go through? No, no. Serene wants the first look. Look. Till then, hands off. Okay, looks like the trailer has power now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. There wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul. The 
dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. I want to shoot them. And it seemed to be the only way to the dry dogs answering.
I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. It was clear that the workshop was in the stutters. Knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Holy shit. Yeah, he never tried to stop it. <laughs> Never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. Entry. 
But I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What the hell? What is this? What the hell? What is, what this? is this? That already happened. to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant extended another year. Please, please don't do this. Don't do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. It was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. I refuse to leave while Jack's still here. I need to contain him. Paul? Condition is critical. The stress. If you don't see it, open fire! You know. There was something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. But what was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful.
Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Ugh! <sighs> 